Hey, welcome to Vegan Finds, where we're going to take... Hello. Oops. <laughs> ah, so typical for us. Got to just say. All right. I don't know why it's so yellow. And they call it now. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Hi, welcome to Vegan Finds, where we're going to take this... And turn it into <laughs> to this Vietnamese bon mean sandwich. Hey, vegan finers, we are making Vietnamese bon mean sandwiches today because basically it is hot as bleep outside. And uh, quite honestly, we don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen cooking, heating over a hot stove, hot oven, you name it. Uh, it's just too hot. So It's also Mushroom Week. And it is also Mushroom Week. And so we are going to be making um, Bon Men with shiitake mushrooms. Uh, if you're not familiar with Bon Men, it is a wonderful little sandwich. Um, that the Vietnamese created basically got a layer of protein with some pickles and some mayo on a crusty French bread I'm gonna slice these suckers up we're gonna be um, sauteing them with uh, some sweet chili uh, sauce and some coconut amino acids that's gonna give us our uh, our soy sauce component even though we're not using soy today um, we're using coconut aminos so uh, I'll show you how to put this all together momentarily and uh, we'll be right back to make this sandwich lickety split okay so I'm just going to slice up these um, shiitake mushrooms we have about six ounces of shiitakes right here um, we're only feeding two people, so uh, you can adjust this recipe accordingly um, to the amount of mouths you have to feed. A uh, great place to get shiitake mushrooms would be an Asian market because they tend to be a lot cheaper than um, in your standard supermarket. Uh, you know, two to three pound, two to three dollars a pound less than if you were going to a Whole Foods type of market or um, one of the more high end that carry shiitake mushrooms. So, um, we are almost done here, and I'm going to make a quick marinade that these are going to sit in for a few minutes. They really don't have to um, sit very long because I'm going to basically cook them in the same sauce as the marinade. I'm just going to pour it all into a hot pan. So, uh, again, this is about as simple a dish as you can imagine. So, I'm going to take out my stuff here my measuring tools as it were let me just see what i need because i forget sometimes i'm not always swift on the on the drawer so i need two tablespoons of sweet um chili sauce it's also known as thai chili sauce but you can probably find a vietnamese ver version of this somewhere Okay, so we got two tablespoons of that in. Um, our five tablespoons of coconut aminos. So, oops. Of course, my assistant forgot to pull off the uh, outer wrapper. So we're going to do five tablespoons of this. Now, if you're soy sensitive, this is a great replacement for soy sauce. Two, three. Four and five. I don't know how much it has in the way of sodium. Um, it's it's lower in sodium than your standard soy sauce, but still uh, pretty high in sodium. So if you're on a low sodium diet, uh, you may want to look for low um, low sodium tamari as opposed to um, coconut aminos. Uh, although I don't know how they compare, <laughs> quite honestly. I also need a tablespoon of maple syrup. So 
So you can see we're going to have some hot, sweet, and salty components to this. So it's the one thing about that Southeast Asian cooking, um, Thai cooking, Vietnamese cooking, Korean cooking. Uh, you get a lot of those flavor centers um, bouncing around, um, getting touched uh, by uh, all the different uh, spice components that they that they like to add. Uh, I do need some lime juice and a little bit of sesame oil. Okay, so I'm adding a tablespoon of lime juice and avocado oil. All right. So I just added the avocado oil. Now I'm just going to stir this up while trying not to cause a ruckus with my spoons here because they're all connected. Everything is connected. Isn't that on like one of those TV shows where they always say that everything is connected? What? Nothing. I know the camera picked that up, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rewind this and, and figure out what you just said. I know she said I sound like just an idiot, but that's okay. Some days, you know, some days you sound smart, some days not so smart. You know, I talk to them. You talk to what? I talk to the audience while I'm cooking. Oh, she. Uh, I'm talking to the audience right now. You just don't realize it because the camera is rolling. I tell stories. I make them laugh. Uh, she thinks she's funny. I am funny. Oh. Uh. Madam Scuttlebutt, am I funny? Oh, Madam Scuttlebutt. All the funny responses are mine. Don't let her fool you. She, I write her jokes. I'm the Bruce Valanche to her Whoopi Goldberg. You heard that snort. That just proves I'm funny. Because Whoopi's funny. Whoopi is funny. I love Whoopi Goldberg. No. Bruce Valanche writes jokes for everybody. All right. I don't know who he writes for. I know he was on the Hollywood Squares. Okay, I'm the Bruce Valanche of this household. I'm the I'm the cent I'm not the center square. I'm the I'm the upper right hand corner of the Hollywood squares, or is he at the bottom right hand corner? I'm the Paul Lind of this outfit. There. You're really not. I really am. So I got this all squared away. Now I'm just gonna get out a pan and basically saute these up and then put them on some bread with some pickles and some mayo. And we're using some kimchi mayo. Why? Because we have it. Um, you can use sriracha mayo. Um, you can use chipotle mayo. It doesn't really matter. You just want a little spicy kick to the sandwich. So I'll be back, show you how to cook this up. It's gonna take literally two minutes, three minutes tops. Okay, so I got some oil in the pan, and basically all you have to do is this. That's it. Of course, it would it would have been helpful if I let the pan heat up a little bit uh, before doing that, so you could have gotten a nice little sound. But um, I didn't because I just want this to be over with. Because it again. It's hot. It's too hot outside. It's annoying um, how hot it is. But we basically skipped over spring, probably because we were hibernating like it was winter. Uh, and now it's the middle of summer. So this is going to cook for, I'm going to say, well, till the mushrooms are done. I mean, that's the operative uh, term here. Cook them till they're done. Should take about two to three minutes because shiitakes don't really take that long to cook. Uh, it's already starting to smell real good, it's starting to bubble up, and uh, that's basically it. Once these are cooked, 
I'll show you how to put together the sandwich. Um, like I said, this is a super fast, super easy sandwich to do. Uh, you know, you could do this with cauliflower. You could do this with tempeh. You could do this with tofu. You could do this with uh, any number of different um, types of fillings. But since this is Mushroom Week, we are doing it with mushrooms. And uh, we got a lot of great recipes planned for you. Uh, Doris has been... Now that she's fully recovered, um, or at least fully recovered from the point that she can uh, stand around and cook and, and, and create recipes, she's got boatloads. I mean boatloads of recipes that are ready to go. I'm looking forward to uh, cooking some of her dishes and also watching her cook some of the dishes. It's much better when she cooks them than when I do, but uh, today it's my turn. So I'll be back in a flash, show you how to finish this baby off. Okay, so banh mi is done on a crusty baguette. And what you're going to do is basically get a little of the may mayo, whether you're using sriracha mayo. In this case, we're using a little kimchi mayo on there. Take some mushrooms. Layer them in, like so. Oh, this looks good. And then, onto our pickles. So I got a combination of radishes, cucumbers, and carrot to go on here with a little bit of red onion as well. Now, if you wanted to sprinkle a little cilantro on there, you can. Uh, but that's basically it. I mean, literally as long as it takes you to watch this video, you can make this dish. Here we go. This is our take on uh, Vietnamese banh mi. So, if you like these videos, please click subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Remember, tell them. Leave a comment. About the next installment of Mushroom Week. What is the next installment of Mushroom Week? It is going to be coconut shrimp. Ah, we are going to be doing a version of coconut shrimp <coughs> using mushrooms. These are going to be blow your mind delicious. So, uh, and give us a thumbs up. So, again, be safe, wash be happy, your wash your hands, um, listen to your mother. Um, wear your mask. Wear your mask. Uh, and uh, be happy, be healthy, and stop on by for our next installment. Uh, you'll be glad you did, or at least we'll be glad you did. Anyway, um, thanks again, and we'll be back.